morning, afternoon, and evening to all those watching. It's your PNG tuber, gamer boy, e boy, and boy boss all in one, Helen Arclight. Thank you for all the support that you've shown me in the first episode of FTL Multiverse. I was not expecting that. It is now my most viewed video on this channel, so thank you all for that. And because it's my most popular video, it is going to, uh, we're doing a second part to this. <laughs> so we're just going to continue on from the run from before. I highly suggest you watch the first part just to get an understanding because I'll just jump right into this, into the, into the run. I'll still explain some things, of course. But beyond that, I noticed that my voice was getting a little tired from talking <laughs> through all that dialogue. So I'm going to take it a little easier today, all right? So. Sorry. The problem is, is that I, I, I don't want the audio to be like screeching loud because I don't know whether the audio is okay for this game. I think, I think I'm gonna mute it. I think I'm gonna mute it to keep the sounds. So, okay, now that we have that. We started off with three crew members and we got a teleporter. <laughs> and I think we are gonna go to the next sector. We're gonna go to the abandoned colonies. You've entered at high speed. It's amazing to think long ago the idea of traveling between worlds is a matter of minutes to hours is nothing but a fantasy. Uh, Federation database. This was once a civilian sector, but after heavy conflict, it was abandoned. Sorry, hold on. Now it serves as a melting pot of scavengers from all over the galaxy, hoping to make a profit off of not just the ruins, but ships like yours as well. At the bottom of your atlas, you notice a small each logo, a sponsorship. It reads, come visit the local Hectar industry marketplaces. Huh. Before you can finish exiting hyperspeed, you're greeted by an unusual advertisement. Greetings, valued Hectar customer. This is Billy Hectar, CEO of the Hectar Corporation, speaking to you. As part of our new customer loyalty program, I am proud to introduce our new unwavering wage utility points. Each time you visit a Hectar TM brand store, our friendly customer support vessels will add an extra Ubu point to your account. Collect enough and you'll be able to enter a reward program. Happy shopping! The advertisement concludes and a cheerful jingle plays over your computer. Followed by the motto, satisfaction guaranteed because you aren't getting your money back. Fun. Sorry, I, I I sort of forgot to pull up the ship unlock, <laughs> the ship unlock guide. Continue. The war tore through the civilian sector, leaving behind large wrecks and abandoned infrastructure. A perfect haven for the likes of scavengers. No guard ship. Uh, it's protecting this beacon. You have some time off your hands to perform a task. Ooh. So, likewise, you get that. I don't know what that does, actually. So these are your augmentations. I haven't really gotten into it, but they can provide you some benefits in fights. Uh, this is usually not included in most ships in base FTL, but Advanced Navigator is really helpful because it gives you information about surrounding beacons so you can know like is this a fight is this safe gives you more information oh okay so this is quick splitter tm we don't have a use for it because we don't have the right crew i'm gonna go to hex tar hex tar store a lot of advertising blasts over your stereo with an obese slug waving his arms in the air and begging you to come and shop. Seems like an unfortunate place, but considering you're already here. I can employ a person, a new customer. Oh crap, I get a commission for these. I can help you set up your account for a small fee. How about no? Oh man, worth a shot. Anyways, the account is actually free. 
By setting up your account, you get one Ubu point for free. Every time you visit a Hectar Marketplace, make sure to collect your Ubu point before you shop. Um, collect four points and you'll be entered into our customer reward program. Now go buy something or get lost. Uh, do something on board the ship. Non-alpha ghost crew. Yeah, we don't have any of those. Uh, we have mods. I've never used these before, personally. And I don't know how they work. But, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna fix up my hole. It's only five. So, we need to visit four, uh, four stores in order to get this unlock. Um, an abandoned space colony just nearby, a massive hole and it's no longer a functional shield generator. It seems like... Seems a distress signal comes from a band of refugees who've bunkered down in the skeletal remains. Help us. Our scan shows a massive meteor setting straight for this colony. And there's no way. Can we hit teleport? Yeah. We can't help. I believe that's that takes heavy damage and I can't afford to take heavy damage. And I think you also might lose a crew. For that. Um... Looks like the nearby store is a Tony's, one of the leash owned, as well as the largest retail chain in the multiverse. Besides the usual commodities, these stores are infamous for selling military goods, suspiciously labeled as gardening. <laughs> um, a few ancient posters from a long past arrogant election are still hung up outside. Considering no president has been democratically elected in the Republic for years, it's quite ironic. But a quick chat with the surprisingly friendly staff revealed that it's just become a joke among them. Besides the interaction, there isn't much reason to stick around. You know, I'm actually considering getting Aisha here. The reason being is that we can clone this crew. We can clone the crew. These hectar stores are sure plentiful. It's almost concerning how much of this sector is just stores, but you suppose it's better than deadly re rebels. I'll collect my Ubu point. Is an augment, ghost splitter, duplicate a phantom. I'll speed up the process. So that just, because I, I did not actually keep track, but now we can actually board with two ghosts, which is cool. Ghosts? I'm not, I don't quite remember what they do, but they're immune to suffocation and fires. Their health is reduced, but they sabotage systems twice as fast. They move a little slower, but they don't need to break open doors, which is not something that we've seen yet. Um, well, we will probably see it if I do more parts to this. Looks like a Hector representative is orbiting a nearby marketplace, painted a gas shade of neon yellow, which stands out from miles away. Hopefully whatever goods are inside aren't obnoxiously vibrant. We'll collect our Ulu point. I can't afford anything. <laughs> And then we'll, uh, Sleazy Kirk with Grease stand on his ch chest, eyes your ship. Eh, a Federation ship? You must have some money. Gimme, gimme. Fact time boy goes to add your point when he stops in surprise. Huh, you've actually reached four points. Do you have brain damage? Why would you visit so many stores? Eh, hey, whatever. Congratulations. Here's a shiny key to the Hector Mega Market TM. Something, something, we waive all liability or whatever. Looks like they sent some special coordinates for your atlas. You could travel there during any sector jump before the Federation capital. I'll do nothing. Um, I want to sell Disruption Field, but I think I'll keep it. I'm not quite sure...
explore. Um, attack them. This is shady. They're all right. All right. They're all dead. We're selling dead slaves. Now let us go. Unfortunately for them, you don't have any intention of letting them off the hook. Oh, well, my poor ghost. Is that a? That's. Why are you boarding with an engineer? Oh, please tell me you're fighting in. Ah, uh, they're fighting in med bay. Oh no, they're fighting in here. Actually, you stay in engines. You stay in engines. Okay. Yeah, we need to recover health. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright. <laughs> um, we can actually probably turn off their systems. Oh, yeah, this is a heavy fight. I don't like this. Okay. Let's keep HP restored. I mean, we don't really use that right now, so... Oh, this was a bad fight. This was a bad fight. Okay. So, we have fire, which means you will see you will see that everyone is starting to try to put it away. So, we're going to send our ghost over there and prepare. Fortunately, this is not a very good fight. I am a little rusty, unfortunately. But this is kind of how this game goes. You're not prepared. Uh, don't hit my weapons. They always hit my weapons, but... That should have been my go-to plan, honestly. Um... Okay. Uh, you need to go back to shields. Unfortunately, well, they have mind control and I don't have good ways of shutting it down. Uh, surrender is not an option. Honestly, theoretically, I probably could board. Oh yeah, I can. I 100% can. Um, you find a number of slaves in the cargo hold. You could use more crew, but it won't reflect positively on you for taking slaves like this. I just recommend taking crew. Um, we'll go Mantis. You probably opened the cage containing the Mantis only for them to fall dead on the ground. Oh, right. Oops. <laughs> that was heavy damage, and I don't honestly know if it's worth it, but... Surprisingly, a pirate ship scavenging an old militia transport abandoned its latest prey in favor of fighting you instead. Do nothing. Okay, so we have encountered a new mechanic. This is called stealth. We can actually have this as well. Um, it increases your evasion by a lot, and it stops weapons from charging because they need to actually see the ship. It doesn't stop your own weapons from charging. Ow. So it's super important that you at least keep this cooldown in mind. I'm going to go ahead and shut down their shields. Ooh. Okay. Repair that on the way. And 
I think we can honestly board now to see what's... Oh. Okay, we need to heal our Angie. Run. Okay, so there's too many crew for us to fight. So you can theoretically stall the fight uh, infinitely. But this is going to take away a lot of my... Oh. Well, <laughs> that's it. One last explosion marks your fate as their ship is torn apart. Unfortunately, if you look at the hull, it's zero. I should have, honestly, looking back at that run, there are a few things I should have done. I should have paid more attention to my hull, been a little more passive. But I was so caught up with getting my crew together and also unlocking the new ship that I wasn't paying it fully attention. And that's sort of like a lesson. That's sort of something you should keep in mind when playing this game is that you really can't tunnel vision on one thing. Because this recording is so short and I don't want to spoil anything, we are going to start out with a new run. Hopefully I won't make... Because this will probably be a little easier because I don't have to, you know, explain everything I'm doing again. So we're going to go with normal. We're going to exit hyperspeed. We're going to grasp extra resources. Do something on board. Run a salvage mission. See, this is, this is an example of a high amount of salvage. This is really good because it sets you up with a lot of fuel. Um... The drone parts and the missiles don't really matter as much until we get something else. As you see, some of these orange these are the orange boxes are your doors, and you can click them open or close. If you open a door, you immediately deprive it of oxygen if it's right next to it, and then you slowly deprive that other room for oxygen. What I like doing is depriving every room that doesn't have a person in it of oxygen. So in the case that there is a fire, it's immediately put out. Because obviously if you don't have oxygen, you can't start a fire. Even though the O2 is low and we'll probably get that warning a lot, it's fine. It's fine. So we're ready to jump. I want to go to this supply first. One, two. I'll go to this supply first. This beacon serves as a temporary outpost for multi first drive equipped vessels established and maintained by the Federation. They're a little too late. This happens a lot, especially in hard mode. These ships usually don't show up. But you do get a little bit of scrap. Can't do anything. So let's just jump to this ship. Your ship is flooded with advertisement transmissions from nearby merchants. As soon as you arrive at this beacon, you arbitrarily pick one to examine in detail. We can trade two fuel for five missiles. This is not a good deal because, because we don't have missiles to use. I don't want to go to that merchant because I have... 55. Scrap. I want to save it. A rebel ship hails. We did not fight a war to let a single Federation ship shatter our dreams for a better galaxy. He lost weapons. Oh. This th this ship cannot touch us. This ship cannot touch us because they have a beam weapon. And most beam weapons, they cannot pierce through shields. But they are 100% accurate. So we are safe. Because of that, we don't really need to fire on their weapons. We can do something else, like fire on their on their uh, pilot, so they can't evade. Boom, boom. The rebel ship explodes. Its many vital systems reduce to mere scrap material. Scrap material is for you to take, that is. You have Kira. I'll actually do it. 
As soon as you arrive, you're, you spot an unusually advanced auto ship waiting for you. Initializing scans, please wait. A bright white glow envelops your ship and your firewall crumbles almost immediately as the ship siphons all of the data on your computers. Concerning, yes, but the ship doesn't show signs of hostility. I'm listening. I've already read this, so from the last episode, so if you really want to look into it, read, go through it again. All right. So now we have like a side mission. This is actually my first time, I think, doing this side quest. So I'll be learning with it with you as I play. By the time you notice the rebel ship behind the beacon, it's too late to avoid a fight. All right. So they have a drone. Oh, nice. <laughs> what do you missed? I'm gonna go ahead and pierce their shields. And I think their drone, if they fire fast enough, they'll be able to damage us. I remember um I remember learning that from last time. So go for drones first if the weapon's not quick firing. Okay, okay, you win. Command will never forgive us for letting us go, but at least we'll be alive to see ourselves dismissed. Will you accept our surrender? Three three few, I'll take it. A Federation automated supply drone is near is on the fritz, sparking and occasionally sending garbled, meaningless messages. We fix the ship and we get some some resources. I don't want to go down to that merchant. It's a little too risky. You receive a hail from a rebel fighter. I'll have you know I graduated top of my class in the. You caught off the rebel ship and prepared a fight. All right. This ship can't touch us either. We're getting really lucky with this sh with these ships, actually. Okay, we get some evasion, which is always nice. We're also not running into a lot of importing ships. This is sort of the ideal run for this particular ship. Farewell. You know the rebels must have families too, but they're probably not the greatest. Or at least that's what you hope. Tell yourself that every single time. Oh, Stor is in distress. Let's save them. To, so to no surprise, a uh, multiverse rebel is accosting a nearby civilian store owner. Rescue the store. We prepare for combat. Okay, so they can actually hurt us a little bit. They have... Ow. Yeah, I, I think that particular weapon does two damage. Okay. The ship breaks apart and you quickly salvage what you can. Yeah, I've rescued the store from their attackers. The store off owners offer a trade. Ignore up to two shield layers. So yeah, this is a special beam weapon. I'm trying to think if I really need it right now. Honestly, these are kind of the core systems that you need for any ship so i just want to sort of strengthen what i have okay i can't make any detours it's either hit the supply i have to go to the corner here uh nearby are some federation fortifications i've taken heavy damage a couple workers are busy trying to hail and ask if they need any assistance uh any help you could offer would be a lifesaver when we just barely managed to chase away those damn rebels and no doubt we're under a mana we won't be able to get these repairs done in time we can't help i'm sorry we're not in a good position to help because this exit's about to be taken if we wait any longer we wish you luck you ever read that the federation supply depot for multiverse travelers they were established across various realities being prominent for protection 
This is our. This is the last possible jump we can make. If the exit was any further to the right, I would have done it. Okay. Uh, the ship is all. <laughs> yeah. If we had someone manning doors, they would have to attack the doors. So. Now. I'm going to shut off this way so that I can have my my plant flee. I believe they take double damage from fires and I don't remember about oxygen. In. But I know the AI is going to get a little distracted. with the ship system, which is something that you can actually do, take advantage of. Okay. Now that that's done, I need you to stall. No. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Can go back. This is sort of the risky strategy with with deoxygenating all your rooms is that if you have any crew and you don't have good doors, it's it's particularly rough getting to and from fights because you're gonna take damage. So that changes the math really quickly. We did get a weapon, so I'll actually close all the doors and have everyone heal up. So you see this crack right here? This is called a breach. Some weapons have a breach chance. <coughs> oh my god. Sorry. Uh, they have a breach chance. Um, which means that every time that a shot hits, I believe, they have a 30% chance of causing this. Breaches are annoying because they will deprive the oxygen in the room. And also forces your crew to repair it first before repairing the system. As you see that this yellow bar right down here is only going up as soon as the breach disappeared. It's pretty bad for ships with um, that don't have a specific crew in mind. I don't want to spoil that for you because we have not seen them. But if it hits like weapons, it's pretty bad. I mean, any damage to weapons is always pretty bad. But in particular, if there's a breach in weapons, it, uh, it's bad because it'll take longer to repair. So we have Gathering Realm or Gathering Dominion. I don't really like my options here. I'm going to go Gathering Dominion because there's a fight in the next sector. Uh, view, we will task and Cura. Um, please select the task difficulty. Wedding photograph. Though Mr. Wentworth has tried very hard to scrub it from the net, I have found the location of a photograph depicting him standing next to the bride at his sister's wedding, now for sale, nearby. I fear the safety of the seller is dubious, and you may encounter a dispatch sent to procure the goods. Please do not let that photograph fall into the rebellion's hands, or we may never find another. Accept the job. Okay. The orchids are a peaceful race. Venture to sector populated by the... Contact the guard, orchid crew. Pretty good. This is where I'm going to start upgrading my systems and start outfitting my ship more. Like getting two shield layers up. We won't be upgrading shields for a while. But I do see a task. So it's one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I figured my path. An, an unarmed Sultan ship greets you. Our vessel is on diplomatic mission to the Orchid world. We would like to hire you to go ahead of us and offer a small gift to one of the nearby Orchid colonies. Contains a replica of a Zoltan spaceship of an unusual shape which vibrates rapidly, radiating light and heat. It's made from high quality materials and very pleasant to look at. Okay. So we've got a quest. So that means I'm probably going to skip two, 
three. Yeah, I'm gonna go up here. Your sensors seem to have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system, no doubt one of many fleeing the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected here, unless or else it is trying to avoid notice. Help them. A Dustbringer ship jumps into the system. They've decided to test their weapons on some humans, and these poor civilians found their way into the crosshairs. All right. What is happening? Okay. Oh, they have a short range teleporter. Actually. I'm just making sure that my 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 engineer doesn't die. No, my pilot doesn't die, sorry. Okay. Okay. My pilot's not dead. My pilot's not dead, which is good. We can fire. Oh, that's bad. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. I just can't dodge. And this is exactly why I got two shield layers, because I think in the second world, there's a lot of weapons that can pierce through at least one shield layer. Or at least expose your ship to two. The Dustbringer ship breaks apart and you salvage what you can. Refugee ship claims the Dustbringers have been tracking them since they left their homeworld as a gesture of goodwill and seeing how effectively dispatch the enemy ship they offer you what supplies they can spare. Pretty good. I'm gonna get another engine upgrade to have our to have our engines up and running every single time. There's two distress signals. I'm gonna go here. Because there's a ship. A damaged orchid panics when you jump in, so you pirates have returned to destroy us. We will not go peacefully like last time. Um, oops, I almost forgot to turn on my oxygen. I see, you can tell if a ship is deprived of oxygen if the rooms inside start getting red as they are right now. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh no, I did not fire that quickly enough. But we, but we dodge, which is really important. Is really important. Your dodge chance is right here, above your oxygen level. Stop. We see now clearly you are not the pirate ship that attacked us. Please let us go. In FTL Multiverse, there's a reputation system. So if you kill orchid ships, your reputation in this area will go down. Um, an unarmed orchid vessel is trying to fle flee from the ship with the markings of a space pirate. Okay. Do your worst. Slug. Uh, slugs are interesting. They, 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 they're more like information and they're immune to mind control. Oh, what is this? What was those weapons? Thankfully, I don't think this ship can hurt us. They're just really quick firing. Now it can hurt us. Or can it? I think I'm regenerating shields faster. <laughs> yeah. I'm regenerating shields uh, fast as, as soon as they hit my ship. If you man shields, you get an increase in your shield regeneration rate, which is helpful for those specific situations. Contact the orchid ship. The orchid ship has taken heavy damage before your crew came to help. The only surviving orchid offers to join your crew. So we got Fen. Okay. Speaking of manning sh uh, shields, you will man shields. We'll go quest. Uh, you have the coordinates to find the orchid settlement. They welcome you in. You are great having side with the Federation, filthy weed freaks. Glory to the rebellion. Orchid blames you for the. I should have known. 
I think that I think the clue tip of it like being warm is a tip that like maybe it, it's bombed. It's a bomb. Um, I don't know what that does. I actually don't know what that weapon does. I don't recognize it. Oh, <laughs> lucky dodge for them. Theoretically, I could also just jump, but I kind of want the resources to upgrade my systems. The orchid ship turns all weapons offline, hoping that you will do the same. Accept their offer. We can sell the manager drone. The manager drone is just like another person. Um, they can... They provide power, so they're a Zoltan. So that just improves... Probably the efficiency of... You don't need as many crew members on the ship. It appears Kira's warning was right. The marketplace where he sp has already been destroyed. Take down the elite. Okay. Here's a pro. Here's a trick. If if you want to deprive them of oxygen, <laughs> do it this way. Have someone man doors so you get a plus one system level and so that they're easier to chip down. Ooh. <laughs> they really said, let's take down your... I'm hoping they teleport away. It's okay if they take away oxygen. I'm not really too concerned about that. <laughs> Have them take some chip damage while they're there. And then I am getting a little beat up. Are they really not gonna recall their crew? They're not, okay. Whatever. Alright, guess they're dying. The rebel ship has been defeated. After scrapping the remains, you quickly search the marketplace and find the original meeting spot where you got the pictures. Contact Kira. Curious. Mr. Wentworth goes through so much trouble to hide such mundane archives. Curious, so curious. Submit the photos to me at once. Run again. My analysis of them should be simple enough. Would you allow me to air my thoughts as I look this over? Listen. Elena Wentworth, her husband was a deadbeat, an alcoholic, impregnated her with one Jerome Wentworth and ran off never to be seen again. After all, she returned to her maiden name. She died shortly after childbirth, lynched by rebel supporters. Mr. Wentworth adopted her child. I can't feel sadness anymore. I removed that from my programming. Does it bring a tear to your eye, Renegade? Of course not. You don't have emotions either. I am an AI of my ever scrupulous word for now at least. Do you ensure you do not disappoint me in the future? There is no shortage of ways I can dispose of you if you don't disappoint me, Renegade. Oh yeah, because our sensors is damaged, we no longer can see inside the ship. We're all blind. Okay. Alright, everyone's repairing. Fen, you were you need to heal. Everyone sort of needs to heal. Andrew Fenn, your shields, you were here, this is your pilot. I should actually save their positions. So if you, um, if you click this one here, it'll save your positions, which means everyone will just return to their original position, so. One, two, three. Actually good to explore a little bit more.
A smuggler approaches brandishing their weapons, but not their contraband. Sorry you might unfavorable terms, but we're sorry for fuel, and I'm afraid you're only sh you're, you're our only shot to get out of here before. Nope. Oh, I regret it. I regret it. I regret it. They have a really strong weapon. Do they? Wait, I'm just gonna fight you. You're in med bay. Ow. All right. All right. Let's at least ease the pressure on our shields a little bit. Oh, we don't have leeches. Actually, prevent you from doing one max power on the on their own on the system room that they're in when they're boarding an enemy ship. So that's why we couldn't heal during the fight. Oops, two. Okay. I think we're okay. Uh, I'm a little injured for it just being the second. <laughs> Major point, that's not good. That's not a good enough offer. Sire ship will no longer torment this sector. Yep, extra missiles are always helpful. You have a lot of missiles for a ship that doesn't use them. Can we... One, two... I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go back. I don't normally do this. But we can run a salvage mission. Scrap the hole. Um... Dock with the mission. Of course. Oops. I sort of knew this was going to happen. I ran into this event before. But... Oh, wow. They have no system. Actually, wait. Can we deprive them of oxygen? Yeah, let's deprive them of oxygen. I'm gonna... I don't know if that was a firebomb. So... I'll let that fire in. Okay. Now that they're in med bay... We actually start fighting them. I'll turn on my oxygen again. Oh. Okay. Actually, that's not what we want to do. I should not have done that. <sighs> Fully repair that. Let's go here. Okay. I think we're fine. Uh, that might be a problem. Yeah, this is starting to become a problem. I'm taking really heavy damage from this. Okay. 
accept their surrender. We'll just buy it with our lives so we don't keep taking damage. Yeah, that was a really rough fight. I was hoping that was an actual shop. Now we have control over doors. Let's send you over there. Matt needs to heal. You need to heal. Everyone needs to heal. Um, I think we need to actually start getting our weapons online. One, two, we can actually go to the Sistrust call. Maybe get some rewards. Oh no, we can't afford to lose someone. <laughs> it's the man-eating weeds event. You will definitely lose a crew unless you have, um... Unless you have crew, crew, what is it called? Crew, um, it's not, med, uh, is it crew cloner? Cloning, I think it's cloning. Um, don't do it. Any event where it sounds like you're going to lose a crew, don't do it. You've entered hyperspeed, you make a quick trip to the engines to listen to FTL drive and hum away as it works. While in hyperspeed, you have several options. You can proceed to your next sector or do something aboard the ship first. You will be able to task. Let's do an intermediate. I have been in contact with one prophet, Pete, who claims he has photographs of Mr. Wentworth, which he's willing to give away, as Mr. Pete quite literally has no backbone. Stolen by what he claims were tripedal spaghetti monsters, he should give in to your demands as easily, or you could be hungry and please just get the photo. The Galactic Union is widely mocked for its name. Don't be fooled. It's far from galactic, though its leaders would like to make you think it is. The Union is an alliance of many various previously independent corporate states. While primarily populated by humans, the Union has become the sanctuary for many alien refugees. We got music. Okay, because we have human crew, we got assistance. I'm just gonna go to the Andrew. Thank you. Upgrades will be cheaper. Yeah. Phase one. Phasers pierce all shield layers, doing ion damage for the first layer of shield, as well as additional damage to whatever system hit. These are all ion weapons. Ion weapons are interesting. I'm sort of down to try it because I don't really like charge. Laser Mark II. Is it good? <laughs> it's a little much. If I'm going to be honest, I really want to sell the assault mode. We don't have drones, so this is this is not particularly interesting. Any drone we get is sort of scrap. But what we will get is we fix up our ship. We're gonna go get our upgrades. Actually, we are gonna get that phaser because I actually do want to try it. Everything here is two power. And then I'll get an engine upgrade. So now we have 25% evasion, which I think is like baseline what you want for any run. Your pilot closer to what seems to be an old Union carry ship, repainted and scribbled over a giant blood red warning beware. On the vid screen, a strange man held upright by a long pole to which he's been tied. His torso looks unusually flabby and his limbs flap violently as he talks. Who are you? Why are you here? We're here for those photographs. Oh, those old things. Yes, I'll go get them. But I'm only giving them if you listen to my story. Them noodle monsters real, I tell you. Realer than, uh, well, or something that's real, suppose. And they stole my spine. If you want to see what's on these pictures, you understand what you're dealing with. Fine. 
Good. Now sit her down and listen here. You hear? No one believes me, but I swear, I swear it's true. Now, and this was before that damn civil war a couple years back, there I was, minding my old business, where out of nowhere comes this rainbow-looking ass ship, and down comes these lanky tripod freaks with one big swirling rainbow light each. They put some kind of spell over me and whisked me away. Now what's them noodle monsters didn't know? I was the six-time champion of martial arts in the union. I kicked them asses. Good. Yeehaw. But you're probably wondering, Pete, how'd you lose your spine if you're such a good fighter? Well, there was too many of them noodle monsters and I was beat. They strapped me down and ripped me out of my spine. I'd be dead, but them wanted me alive for some reason. But that was their final mistake, because not only am I the sixth champion of martial arts, but I'm the eight-time champion of spineless martial arts. Didn't know what hit them. Stole them ship and blew, flew back home. Then fashion this old rig myself. Oh, shut up. If you keep mouthing off, I'll show you what just what I meant by spineless martial arts, you jits. Now I thought that was the end of it when my little backwater part of space suddenly gets a visit from another than Vince went for himself. I don't know how he's found out, but he has to see them corpses and I happily oblige. Soon enough, there's a whole teams of scientists prodding around that wreck I stole. And I'm scribbling my name. Yes. Er, whatever. He ain't ever going to find out now. But a month goes and by th and the scientists suddenly all pull away and they make the ship with them. Next day, there's fans all over the news claiming he found the source of all those disappearances. But he says it's the slugs. The slugs. And I think I'm... And, and I'm thinking, what's this um, what's this person mouthing about? Well, not too long after the Federation decides to banish the kleptocracy entirely, and I can't reach Wentworth to tell him he's a, li he's a lying son of a gun. So I took upon myself to spread the word. The monsters are real, and I got the pic. Continue. Oh. Such a strange, strange accident, isn't it, Renegade? I suppose we never know the cause. Never matter. It's unlikely those photographs would have provided much in my pursuit of data. Don't trouble yourself over it for your efforts. I will compensate you regardless. Uh-oh. What was that? There are so many distress calls. Why are people in distress? I'm just going to go to this distress signal right here. And I realize this episode is almost going to be an hour. Respond. Uh, do some last minute. Let's do some last minute repairs. So I think we're getting boarded by either hacking or a drone. Okay, so this is a boarding drone. This person, this robot, just kind of acts like a normal crew, and they will damage your systems. Okay, so they don't deal physical damage. I need to heal up. Yeah, early game, they look like they'll just damage they'll damage whatever crew you have. They'll probably outfight your crew. I need to heal. So pierce shields. If you hear that noise, that means the person is... Okay. Th that person has... There's a lot of things going on. I need to focus on this. So, I'm gonna heal. They're damaging our engines, which is not very good. Okay. Okay. You defeated the engineer ship. You salvaged the wreck before inserting the auto ship. Fortunately, the engineers were trying to take the ship intact as no visible damage. So you got it back to the Federation vessel. They thank you. What do you mean? We literally, we saw the ship blow up. Blow up. Okay. Please. Oh, there's a leak. Okay. Refills. Oh, I was so worried about them suffocating, but they kind of refill it on their own. I thought you needed it powered, but it looks like they don't. You don't need it powered, um, which is good. Okay, so now we that we have experienced something uh, sound. When you hear that like ringing sound, you will you will see that this person you'll see this icon of a person with a star over their head. That means they have reached level two of the system that they are manning. Of that skill. So there's piloting, engines, shield, weapons, repair, and combat. Because Nathan's been firing all the weapons, 
he gets a lot of weapon experience. That means you get an you get a stat boost. So that means all our weapons will charge um 15% faster. Which is really good. Contact the outpost. Uh, your chance for your Federation ID, just to be sure they welcome you on board. If it, it isn't the legendary ship we've heard so much about, it's an honor to meet you. Captain, whatever you need will be you'll assist. I don't need anything, I just need repairs. Thank you. So... Ooh. You've arrived at a seemingly ordinary beacon, but scans show a slip tunneling opening. Someone with an MV drive is jumping in nearby before we even have time to react. A foreign vessel comes barreling towards you. You've never seen or heard a ship like this. We don't have time to question it. Oh, I don't know what this does. This is a little scary. Oh, that's a new mechanic. So, what's happening here is very interesting. Time is sped up for these people. So, you gotta hit their weapons, right? At least it's not weapons. I gotta get rid of their mind control. I think. Okay. Okay, you need to go here. You need to start repairing, actually. No, you need to go here. You need to start repairing. Yeah, it's super important. It was super important for me to at least stop them before they damaged the weapon system entirely. Oh wow, they did it on themselves, okay. So it's a... Okay. I'll wait for that to arrive. You need to go back. Fen needs to finish those repairs. And then we can... Burst? Whatever these aliens are, look like they are in traditional cowardice. Scan shows their FTL drive has been powered up, now they're trying to escape. If you want to stop them from escaping, uh, destroy, uh, distract their pilot, have no one piloting, or damage their engines and their piloting system. I don't remember how to- I don't remember how to unlock the ship, to be honest. So... I'm gonna do this as a safety measure. Oh wow. That didn't hit us. Um Ethan's fine. I don't think he's gonna die anytime soon. So Mysterious vessel is destroyed, you scrap its smooth white hull while the rainbow lights continue to flicker in and out of life. Oh, well. Did that miss? No, I think we took hits. I think we took hits. I'm gonna heal. Phase one. And then... We're gonna jump to the next area. Uh, who are you? Huh, you don't remember me? It is I, your Narsh is as Leia, the infamous master. You think you're so clever, always coming in to ruin my day, but I'm getting smarter. You won't beat me this time. Um, it's funny because low level threat. This enemy poses very little threat to your vessel. Feel free to disregard any threats made by the captain of this sorry ship. And also just destroy the ship. Honestly, what I will say, you could because I have an ion weapon. I can keep firing it and have Nathan get a lot of experience and not damage the ship just to gain, you know, weapons levels so that he reaches level 3. I won't be doing that because that feels a little cheap. There are similar things that you can do with shields and theoretically engines, but engines is a little luck based. Well, we destroyed that. No cool, dude. You can't even imagine how awkward it is to keep asking Rebel Command for more of these ships. You have no idea what it's like to keep dying over and over and have to start all over again with a new ship each time. Leo warps away. 
I'll go to the distress signal. Um, civilian, the system is restricted. We must request that you leave immediately. We're no civilian ship. No, I can't. You need to board this ship and kill all the spiders. Spiders are scary. Spiders are scary. Uh, hail the ship. Oh, well, goodbye. Oh, there are a lot of doors opening. Sure, you can attack doors, whatever. Um, I'm gonna try and disable their weapons as fast as possible. Yeah, mantises are extremely good fighters. So... Okay, we dodged that with 17%. We're gonna- it's okay if they damage doors. I don't really care about doors. If it was something more high value, I would care more. Um... Okay. And now they're fighting us in our med bay, which is the, the biggest mistake they've made. All they really did was just make our lives annoying. Um. Farewell. This mantis ship is no more except for the scrap that you take it. We have a lot of scrap. We have 219 scrap. That usually doesn't happen. Okay. I really want to visit a shop soon because I have so much money. <laughs> I'm gonna exit. Explore, investigate. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. That's just like a communicate with aliens kind of thing. Next time, um, this episode's an hour long. I did not mean it for it to be an hour long, but if you enjoyed the content, please consider hitting the subscribe, like button, comment so that the YouTube algorithm supports me. If you want to see a part three, let me know. Are the videos too long? Are the videos too short? Do you want to see whole runs together or do you want to see runs stapled into multiple parts? Again, it is I am your favorite boy boss, PNG tuber, e-boy, gamer boy, Hill and Arclight. And I hope to see you guys next time, all right? Bye.